the true problem that I believe you would say is the metabolism is broken, right? Yes. So, so let's, I want to, in this next hour, talk about what has broken the metabolism and then how to fix the metabolism. Okay, perfect. That Those are all great points and also an excellent question. So <laughs> in order to actually get a sense of the metabolism, and what's going on, I want to lay out a very quick kind of uh, perspective on what's going on inside the body, right? So when we eat food, what we'll do is we'll take the food and then we have to digest that food, right? So we have to break the food down, whether that's chicken, whether that's rice, break it down into the, the proteins from the chicken, into amino acids, the rice into glucose, and then absorb the amino acids in the glucose. So that's step number one. Step number two is that food has to be taken up, the components are taken up, brought to the liver, and then they're circulated around the body to, to go to these different tissues. So this is this is step number two. Step number three is we have these components are taken up by the cells and then the cells have to turn these things into structures for the cells, into energy for the cell, into signaling molecules, et cetera. So we have these three part process and the current model around weight loss takes this idea that you take in food and then calories are made. And then there's no thought process on, well, what's going on between this digestion between this circulation and between this utilization. If those, if there's a problem in any one of these places, it, it, this conversion of food to calories doesn't happen appropriately. So as an example, and I, would this, I see this with my clients all the time, somebody I'm, I'm working with, they have significant gut issues. They have bloating, they have gas, maybe they have diarrhea, maybe they have constipation, maybe, um, Maybe they're, uh, they're getting brain foggy. They're getting skin disorders like psoriasis or eczema. Maybe they have liver, elevated liver enzymes, as you mentioned. And they're like, I just can't get this weight off. I'm eating less and less and less, and the weight's not coming off. Part of the problem to consider here is that if you are putting food into this digestive tract, say you have an overgrowth, and the bacteria that are overgrowing in the small intestine are producing a variety of metabolites and also taking away this food supply, that you are supposed to be absorbing, they're harnessing some of this food supply for themselves, then number one, you're not getting the same amount of, of nutrients. And number two, you're actually getting poisoned by some of these metabolites and the metabolites from the bacterial products directly damage metabolism and directly shift the hormonal profile and directly negatively impact the liver. So if those things are going on, you can't just say, oh yeah, it's just calories in, calories out. It's like, it's calories in, calories out, when everything is working well, then you can just play around with your total food intake and this proxy value of calories. And yeah, then things start to work. But as you have these problems with the gut or the problems with the circulation or utilization, now it's now the question is, how do we fix these things so we can get back to, all right, what's this appropriate intake of food that I need on a regular basis for my body to function or to, for whatever the particular goals are that I have? I love that. And you are assuming food is everything that you put in your in your mouth. Food is is uh, whole foods, processed foods. There are a lot of the ingredients that your body doesn't even recognize as food and doesn't know what to do with it, and just has to has to store it in its fat cells because it's toxins, and then it disrupts the gut. And that's I talk a lot about leaky gut. And when you heal your gut. That's just one piece of the weight loss um, protocol. 